Hello there, good afternoon, my name is Andy and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my newly bought 4D bike. I bought this one last Friday and uh, I didn't really have a chance to, you know, ride it because I've been pretty busy with work. So uh, maybe in this video I'm going to show you and talk to you a bit more about this bike and, you know, what I like and what I don't like. Uh, but here's a very big disclaimer, I'm not a very experienced cyclist. Uh, I know how to cycle but I haven't been cycling for a long time so uh, I bought this one because I thought I'll just you know uh, give it a try go for some bike rides in the park connectors and all that so uh, here's my review of my 360 40 bike So I guess I'm just gonna start in the front here and it's got this M bar going on so I would think an M bar is more suitable uh, I'm not an experienced rider so I do want to have a very aggressive stance and this one here I think this is this color here uh, actually I'm not a very big fan but since this is the cheapest model that I can find I bought this one for $840 at Bike Republic so you know i don't want to spend too much on something that i'm not very sure of so instead of uh, spending three thousand or three thousand two hundred dollars on a brompton so i thought i'll just get a copy and i found this model this colorway to be the most affordable the cheapest <laughs> so i bought it from bike republic and i must say uh, they do have very good prices and this one here i was told that this is the latest generation whereby they've got this six gear going on uh, so it's got this stormy archer kind of thing uh, if you can see it over here yeah so it's a stormy archer kind of a gearbox system and it's got six gears two external and three internal if i'm not wrong the 360 bikes i think they are also just a little bit lighter than the Pikes or the Bromptons not by much I think this is like 12.7 kilos I did weigh this at home uh, the other day uh, I think it's negligible it's like a few hundred grams <laughs> at least for a newbie like me I think three four hundred grams is pretty negligible so this foldy bike here is also made from chromoly steel uh, I was told that this is slightly lighter than carbon steel uh, but to be honest, you know, with all these things made in China, you don't really know uh, how true the specs are because they might tell you it's chromoly steel, but it could be some other types of alloy or steel mixed up and all that. So uh, it's okay. Uh, I guess you can't ask for too much at this price point. Uh, the tires here, the rims here are 16 inch, and I think this is like the very cheap affordable basic kind of tires and this is what cst cst city tires or something like that uh, i'm aware that the pikes they have some kind of high profile rims and probably better tires but you're going to pay close to 200 dollars extra so i wasn't going to do that i think uh, again for something that i'm not very sure about this cycling hobby i'm not too sure if i'm going to cycle uh, long term so I guess you know spending 840 is safer and if I don't like it I can sell it you know for a few hundred dollars loss I think it's pretty okay so here's a look at the uh, gear shift pedals so the right hand side has got three gears uh, in the internal hub and over here this one here I think it's con in control of the derailleur system which is a uh, external to gear kind of thing so uh, to be honest i'm not very sure how these things work i actually asked the sales staff at bike republic and uh, you know they tried to explain to me but <laughs> i asked them a question is it the same as driving or riding and the answer was a flat no and uh, i think i'll just figure out uh, my way as i you know ride along this bike
So that was a demonstration of how the bike folds. Uh, I hope you didn't see my tummy in the video. <laughs> Alright, and uh, over there, there's some people looking at me. I think I better put on my mask first. Alright, because I'm in a public place and uh, I think I should put on a mask. So yeah, I'm back with my mask on and I think uh, I'm just gonna film this video like this. I'm sorry if the audio is not so good. This app here doesn't allow me to put in an external mic. Alright, so uh, this one here, I was told that it folds very similarly to a Brompton. In fact, it is a copy of a Brompton 4. And uh, my only concern is I don't think it is as compact as the actual Brompton. Alright, I have a feeling it is slightly bigger. Uh, still doesn't come across as a really compact fold to me. Alright, uh, again, a big disclaimer here I am a new cyclist, so uh, you know, when I think of a foldy bike and you know, stow away kind of bike, I always think that it can really go so small and uh, this to me is still pretty big you still need uh, quite a lot of space in your store room or even in your car boot so this bike here, it folds into something that you can trolley along I'm just gonna flip the lens to show you alright, so the bike here folds into something that you can trolley along here so if I'm going to I'm going to show you the four wheels they call this the easy wheels at the trolley area here so you can actually wheel along uh, this one like a luggage and you do need to slot in the seat post because if you don't do that when you try to lift up the bike it's all gonna uh, open again it's going to unfold and open so uh, i heard you can actually buy some kind of uh, velcro here to secure the wheel and I think that will make it easier for you to trolley the bike okay so i'm a very small person um, i can still trolley uh, using the saddle uh, even when the seat post is fully uh, kept so let me just show you when it's fully kept here it's fully retracted and uh, it's quite low so if you're a taller person i think you would have problems uh, trolleying this one and you probably need uh, to have some kind of handle or some kind of velcro system here so overall if you ask me if this bike is worth buying uh, it is definitely not cheap right to me i think you know, close to a thousand dollars for a 40 bike is definitely not cheap so uh, i really need to find out more uh, for myself after giving it a few rides again i'm just planning to ride it on flat terrain park connectors and all that so I don't think it's going to be anything extreme so I hope I like this thing this hobby because you know it, it, it'd be nice to be able to do this hobby together with my wife uh, go for rides and you know, uh, put this in the car and then maybe we can do those kind of uh, coast to coast or park to park kind of rides and uh, we'll see how it goes all right from a ride around the neighborhood and just want to share with you some of the thoughts uh, that I get after a short ride. I think I forgot to mention about this uh, front block bag earlier on and uh, it's actually a very useful bag. I put all my stuff inside my gimbal, my phone mount and it clips onto the bike frame very well. Uh, overall, I think the ride is still very acceptable. <laughs> Just don't expect this to be like magic carpet ride. Yeah, after all, it's a uh, 16 inch wheels, and um, I would think you have to accept all the bumps and all that, uh, even when you're riding on flat terrain. All right. Also, not too sure if this has been brought up by other reviewers of the 360 bike. So, for the 360 bike, if you fold uh, just the back wheel here. Thing here doesn't want to listen to me just bear with me for a while so yeah so if you're folding uh, just by flipping the back tire now you realize the front steering is not going to be uh, very free okay you'll be stuck here okay so I learned this from Bike Republic uh, it's because the 360 bikes they've got a shorter main frame I think it's shorter by about 1 cm or 1.5 cm thereby you know when half folded the front steering column it doesn't turn fully 
all right so for pikes uh, not a problem i actually tested both bikes side by side at bike republic and for pikes this thing here it turns freely okay so for 360 it does not so you might want to take this into consideration so uh, this is about three four hundred grams lighter than pikes all right but in return you cannot you know maneuver the steering column freely when the bike is half folded so another thing to take note of is that when the bike is fully folded like what i'm showing you here when it's fully folded it doesn't really trolley very well uh, my guess is it's largely due to the fact that the easy wheels they are you know sort of off center and uh, the main bulk of the weight is shifted to the to the main front wheel side and plus i've got a bed here all right so uh, i'm not complaining about that but i also find that this wheel here all right this front wheel here has a tendency to hit the ground when i'm trolling the bike okay so when i'm trolling here uh it's okay there's a very minimal clearance of the ground but every now and then it will uh, get in touch uh, get into contact with the ground and i think it's just not very pleasant i might have to sort out uh, the hook the hook mechanism over there uh, that anchors this to the main frame so i think i might go back to bike republic or any bike shop to just take a look at this issue all right so thanks for tuning in uh, this is my first ride one of my first ride with the bike so i do hope that i like uh, cycling enough so if i do like cycling enough i'll do more videos in the future so thank you very much bye bye